Hello, hello, Mordimers here and today I would like to show you a very important uh, tactical pattern which every chess player just have to know and if you don't know it um, then you should definitely watch this uh, video and uh, sometimes it happens in our games and if we are not uh, ready and we cannot deliver this spectacular and beautiful checkmate then uh, really we can be very very sad after you know analyzing this game so uh, definitely stay with me but before i show you the game i would like to just announce that only 26 percent of viewers are actually subscribers so if you enjoy my content and if you watch most of my videos and you didn't subscribe yet consider to subscribe smash the bell button and let's jump into the game so the game was played in vienna in 1910 and we have richard reddy he was a czech master very known but uh, his peak of his career um, happened in early 20s when he won a couple of very very strong tournaments however in 1910 uh, he was only 20 years old so his chess career just uh, started uh, and his ranking according to the chess metrics 2369 uh, in 1925 uh, he set up the world record in the blindfold chess on 29 chess boards and not only that he won 21 of these games drew six and lost only two games and he was very active chess theory contributor he wrote a couple of books and also endgame studies composer okay this is what he we know and sadly he died when he was uh, 40 years old uh, because of the scarlet fever disease and he's gonna play today in 1910 as white and his opponent Savieli Tartakover 22 years old at that time more experience his ranking 2644 an interesting person because he was born in Russia in Austrian family uh, and once Poland got independent in 1918, uh, he actually got the uh, Polish uh, citizenship and he represented Poland uh, for another at least 20 years. Uh, a lot of good scores for Poland in the chess Olympiads. He represented in six chess Olympiads. And then once communists took over uh, in Poland, he didn't come back. Uh, he stayed in France where he got the uh, French citizenship there and then he played under, you know, French flag. And also Tartakover was known from his countless aphorism, uh, which are sometimes called Tartakoverism. And one of the most uh, famous maybe, but definitely match this game, the blunders are all there on the board, waiting to be made. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. So Richard Reti open with e4. We have c6, Karokan defense, d4, d5, knight c3, d takes on e4, and knight takes on e4. And the most popular answer uh, would be bishop on f5, maybe knight on d7, uh, but here a slightly less popular by Tartakover, knight on f6. Uh, challenging the knight already and knight is without protection so we have queen on d3 bringing the protections to the knight and now e5 e5 uh, opening the center but also uh, giving black the opportunity to uh, develop the the pieces so now black can develop the pieces quite uh, easily Reti takes, D takes on E5 with attack um, on the knight. Uh, so Tartakover queen on A5 with check, but also with the attack on this on this pawn. We have bishop on D2 developing the bishop, blocking the check. Queen on E5. And now what Reti did, keep in mind that this knight is hanging now because queen attacks the knight and the knight attacks is as well. And there is only one defense. So what white can do is of course play f3 which is a uh, quite normal move but ready play something uh, better he just castle so he don't care about uh, his knight and is he right that is the question what would you do as black would you take this knight and if yes then how with the queen with the knight uh, the answer is if you take with the queen of course you are losing rook on e1 and you lose the queen and the game 
Uh, so Tartak over here took the knight, he played knight on e4. And now what happened now, it's just mind blowing. This is the position which you just have to know. So feel free to pause the video and find the winning continuation for white. How white gonna win in this position while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? Definitely ready. It's not difficult, uh, but if you didn't know this pattern, uh, it's definitely good to know it. Uh, and if you uh, knew it, then of course it's good to review. So the only move which is totally winning is queen on d8 with check. Okay, so uh, black don't have much choice. We have king on d8 and bishop g5 with check and double check of course so the king has to be moved and king can be moved only to two squares so uh, king on d8 or king on c7 uh, according to some sources in this position tartakov resign according to some others uh, he play king on c7 and after bishop on d8 we have a checkmate okay and this is called ready mate so uh, probably because of this game and also important to know that uh, if the king go to e8 this is actually called opera mate okay with the rook and the bishop pattern where f7 is uh, in this case f7 is uh, you know blocking the king from moving this is the opera mate and for the first time uh, it was played by paul morphy in the opera and if you don't know that story click over there check the video very important video because it was the most famous game in the chess history so all the legends is well known and yeah that's all for today if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like this video press unlike thanks for watching and see you in the next one